Senator Hugh, again, um, I haven't talked to you since Mitt came out, the uh, the Netflix uh, yeah. special on and Governor Romney and the amazing sort of debate prep views that we got. You've done more debate prep than anyone in the country, I think. And it, it causes me to ask you this. Have you ruled out running for president yourself in 2016? You know, Hugh, I am focused on one thing right now, and that is 2014. And as you may know, I'm the vice chair and national finance chair for this effort to take back the the Senate for the Republicans, because I really believe that is the best thing we can do for the country right now. And if we don't do it, I think we're in deep trouble. So I'd be be frank with you, I haven't really given it serious consideration because I'm totally focused on getting this majority. And by the way, we're making pretty good progress. We've got some good candidates we've recruited around the country. You've had some of them on. I, I know you followed this pretty closely. And I think folks, uh, you know, who thought, gosh, the Republican Party has seen its best days are going to be surprised. Now, you're going to have a great, a great fall, but that was not a Sherman-esque statement, Senator Portman. No, look, I'm, I'm, it's, it's not something that I am considering right now. I'm considering focusing on my job uh, as a senator in Ohio, and then second, trying to be sure that we are successful in 2014. Right, I'll, I'll try and land the plane one more time, then I'll go to the jobs <laughs> plan. When would you have to make up your mind about running for president? Because a lot of us from Ohio know your record, know your executive branch experience, know your legislative yeah. success, and would be you know thrilled if either you or Governor Kasich got in, or both of you. But you know, not many people put you on the list, and I'm just curious if, if you have a deadline in your mind when you have to decide by. Well, I... You know, I, I purposely haven't put myself on the list, and I, I don't think there's a deadline um, uh, in particular. But the way these things go, Hugh, it seems like the elections start sooner and sooner. And frankly, that, I think, does not serve uh, the American people well, because we should be focused on dealing with this incredibly weak economy, with this record level of debt, with these problems, as you have pointed out in uh, some of your online stuff I saw today about national defense and how it's being weakened. And yet here we are talking about, you know, is it going to be Hillary Clinton or is it going to be somebody else? Or, you know, what's what's the latest with regard to the presidential candidates and the Republican side? I, you know, I think that's it's kind of premature. I mean, the reason it happens is people just want placeholders for their points of view. Now, you're out trying to get I was just watching you on Neil Cavuto uh, yeah. talking about the jobs program you put forward. Yeah. It's hard to get traction for a jobs program uh, because you guys are in the minority and it, it's yeah. hard to get anything going there. But it's necessary to talk about it. But people like me and Jamie. We want to talk about getting the Senate back so that we can get a jobs plan. Exactly. Are you frustrated by this? No. In fact, what I said on Neil, as you saw, was this is a blueprint for economic growth and prosperity. It's also a blueprint for governing. In other words, if we did get the majority, I'm not uh, predicting it, because I think sometimes we get way ahead of our, our skis on the Republican side. We, we raise expectations, and you know we, we, uh, we end up in the last two election cycles disappointing people. But if we were to get the majority, Hugh... This is the kind of thing we could do. And I said that on Neil's uh, show because the House has already passed dozens of bills that would fit nicely within these seven principles. You know, regulatory relief, tax reform, uh, doing something to get health care costs down, actually, rather than Obamacare, uh, dealing with trade, dealing with energy, you know, producing more energy here at home. Uh, they've actually passed legislation. And so we know the House is going to stay Republican, at least I believe it will. If we were to get the majority with this agenda, we could actually get some stuff done, actually land some bills on the president's desk. Would he sign them? Some he would, some he wouldn't. But at least then we'd have the contrast we need going into 2016. Uh, Senator Jamie uh, here again. And by the way, Senator, given your answer to Hugh, I'm putting you as a maybe on my list for 2016. (laughs) Uh, I think that's a clear maybe to me. 